Ethan Ralston knew something was wrong when his eyesight started to get blurry. I felt shocked. I was, I didn't really know, you know, I was scared that of the possibilities of what it could be. After a series of doctor's visits leading him to Tennessee's Vanderbilt University Medical Center, Ethan was diagnosed with Leber's hereditary optic neuropathy. LHON is a disorder of the optic nerve that is inherited and affects generally males, although it does sometimes affect females, usually during somebody's teens or 20s. And it comes on suddenly with a sudden loss of vision in one or both eyes. It's caused by an abnormality that is inherited in the mitochondrial DNA. It's a rare condition with only 300 cases diagnosed a year. Ethan was just 14 when he was diagnosed, but a clinical trial offered a solution. Trouble was, Ethan was too young to qualify. Some of my colleagues at Vanderbilt who work in the research and development office were able to reach out to the FDA and get what's called a compassionate use protocol where we could petition the FDA to allow us to inject Ethan's eyes with this gene. If we waited until he turned 15 and was part of the clinical trial, he wouldn't have qualified for the clinical trial because you have to have the disease for less than a year. And so he would have been over a year and so he would have not qualified then either. Ethan got the injections in both eyes. Around the eight month mark, I started to see some pretty massive changes in a positive way. But the trials are still in the early stages. The FDA has not yet approved the treatment. We don't know whether the cells that incorporate in the new gene into their DNA will stay around forever and their mitochondrial populate and be there forever, or if at some point in time this, this could recur and require additional treatment. For now, Ethan's sight has nearly returned to normal, making for quite the 15th birthday gift. For InsideEdition.com, I'm Stephanie Officer.